Hi, I'm Rachel McCampbell and I'm a visual artist from Nashville, Tennessee. Normally I paint on wood or canvas or even sometimes paper, but in this case I'm painting on metal and I want to share this process with you. This project that I'm doing is a large three-dimensional painting. It's galvanized steel with zinc on top called galvanil. And this product is an 11 foot long piece of steel. It was turned and twisted and melded together into a Mobius strip. It is to be hung from the ceiling and you can experience it by walking all the way around it, looking through it, inside it. Now, how to paint on metal. The first thing I'm going to do is clean it. And that's very important because when the metal arrived, it had a very oily substance on the surface of it. And all that needs to be removed. Then after that is removed, I take a sander and sand everything to make sure that there's a certain grit that will grasp onto the oil when I apply that. And you may have noticed this seamly seam, so to speak, right here. And I'm going to remove that by using an auto body filler called Bondo. Apply that on there, let it dry, and that will also be sanded and brought back down to a smooth finish. So once all that's done, I will for a second time, clean everything again. And to clean, I use Gamblin's Gamsol. This is an odorless mineral spirit and it's really, really a great product. So let's begin by dipping a lint-free cloth into the Gamsol. I've cleaned this already, so I'm just gonna go right over here and show you a little bit about how dirty this gets and why it's so important to clean it. So I just move this in a circular motion there. Ta-da! You can see it's pretty dirty. I am going to clean all sides of this and make sure it's perfect for the next step. So we are on to the next phase. I have 60 grit sandpaper here that I'm going to sand this seam and get a pretty good widespread here of sanding so that when I get to the Bondo phase, there'll be something for the Bondo to really hold on to. Nice grit, so to speak. All right, safety first, here we go. So now I'm mixing up the Bondo. I've got the Bondo and the hardener. Of course, I'm doing this in a ventilated area. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply, not worrying too much if it's perfect at this point because I will be sanding this off. So I did several layers of Bondo sanding in between each one, uh, starting with 100 grit sandpaper feathering out with a finer one to the edges. All the metal, as you recall, is, is roughened up with sandpaper, so I want it to be have some tooth to it to accept the primer. Now, speaking of the primer, I am using Sherwin-Williams Pro Krill, which is really good for metal. And uh, it is a latex product in the sense that it's water-based and it's uh, easy to apply and not very toxic at all to smell. Although I always try to do this outside so there's a lot of ventilation. We are gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you, I just use a vinyl brush, a couple of inches, vinyl, dip it, step over here and apply right on the Bondo and the metal. And I use thin layers to create a slow build. Now this layer I'm doing horizontally, just like this. And then the next layer I will cross hatch. So I will go the other direction and it will give a full coverage that way. And now for my favorite part, I get to paint in oil on my metal Mobius strip. 
I'm using Gamblin oil colors to paint with and Gamblin's Gal Kid Slow Dry is my medium. Since I have a deadline to meet, I'm using the Gal Kid Slow Dry because it helps speed the drying time while keeping the paints moist and spreadable. It's a great product. Since this video is about how to prep metal to paint, I won't be focusing on my painting techniques at this time, but I will share with you the palette I'm using here on the screen. I like to use a warm and cool shade of each primary color plus a warm white and raw umber. I can achieve most every color I need for this painting with this palette. After I'm finished, I'm going to use Gamvar. Gamblin's varnish that can be applied even as early as two weeks after your finished painting. If you decide to paint more, you can easily remove the Gamvar with Gamblin's odorless mineral spirits called Gamsol. That's what we used to originally clean the piece. It's very strong yet very gentle at the same time and it won't damage the oil paint below. I hope you've learned something from this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can let you know about future instructional painting videos along with videos about my painting trips called Artistic Adventures Abroad. Remember, keep painting and have fun with art!